A bomb cyclone is getting ready to hit the northwest, and it's going to affect us, too. Meteorologist Dallas Rains here to show us what wow. a bomb cyclone is. you got to look at this satellite view tonight, Mark, and folks at home. This is the center of a storm that rapidly develops in just 24-hour period. It looks like a hurricane, doesn't it? It is not. It is an extratropical cyclone. This is the northwest coast. Over 500,000 homes without power already up in the Seattle area. And some of this action, as part of an atmospheric river, will actually make its way down into Southern California. We're going to show you that on the seven-day forecast just a minute. Here's some of the rainfall totals I'm looking at in Northern California. Redding, this area around Eureka, 9, 10, 11 inches of rain. And even San Francisco could pick up anywhere between two and a half or three inches of rain. For tomorrow morning, have another beautiful day. It's cool early in the morning at 7 o'clock. It's 46. And by lunchtime, still on the chilly side, 67, 72 out in the valleys. A few clouds starting to show up late tomorrow night, starting into the evening hours. Tobacco today was 71. Nice day out at Woodland Hills. It finally warmed up to 73. Malibu was 67. And Big Bear Lake today did not quite make it to 50. It was 46 for an afternoon high. Here's another satellite view. We have two jet streams. The subtropical jet stream, often known as an atmospheric river, is combining with the polar jet stream coming down out of Canada, and that is generating really heavy rain along the coastline there. Uh, here in Southern California, it's a dome of high pressure. We'll draw that in for you. It's been kind of sitting over us and with the high over us, the sun is shining. A few high clouds come by at times. But early in the morning hours, the temperatures are really cold. So that big storm just swirls around. It really doesn't move very much. So just wave after wave after rain the next couple of days in the northwest. But eventually, what's left of that will make its way down into Southern California on Saturday evening and Sunday here in SoCal. But for tomorrow, what a day. 74 degrees out there at Lake Elsinore. Down at Irvine tomorrow, about 71. Should make it to 73 at Disneyland tomorrow afternoon. Glendale and Pasadena looking pretty good. Palmdale not bad at 66. Cold up there in the morning, though, and Northridge at 74. So here is the seven-day forecast. Mostly sunny skies. A few high clouds come through. That is it. Tomorrow, Thursday, and then on Friday. But then Saturday, we see increasing clouds. And I think by afternoon, a 40, 50% chance of light showers, nothing heavy. Then on Sunday, what's left of the atmospheric river does come down into southern California. So the possibility of up to an inch of rain is possible. 61, very cool weather this weekend, so a big change from what we've had. And then Monday and Tuesday looks like partly cloudy skies. I'm going to still have to hold in a slight chance of showers on Monday and Tuesday. Valleys, great day tomorrow. The warmest day is Thursday. We hit 78 to near 80 in a few areas like Woodland Hills. And then on Saturday, it cools off dramatically. By Saturday afternoon, look for a 40, 50 percent chance of showers. Then we bump that up on Sunday to 80 percent with one half to one inch of rain possible. High of only 62 degrees on Sunday. All right, now to the beaches. Swell is big. You can imagine with a bomb cyclone out there, big west and northwest swells have been generated, so they're arriving along the coast of California. Three to five foot breakers next couple of days. Down at the beach, beautiful day Thursday at 67. Marine layer clouds return early in the morning on Friday, and then by Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, slight chance of showers, better chance of rain coming to Newport Beach on Sunday. And Santa Monica today was only 59, and they'll be cool again tomorrow with a high of 61. In the mountain areas, this is not a snowmaker. As we talk about atmospheric rivers, they do produce rain in the mountain areas, but the snow is going to be way up there at 8,000 feet. You can see the high on Sunday Big Bear is 44 degrees. That's a fairly mild day with rain. In the desert area, 66, 68, Palm Springs near 80 on Thursday. And even the deserts, Mark, get a chance of some showers coming through Saturday night and Sunday with some gusty winds at times. It's a bomb cyclone. It drops one millibar every hour for 24 hours. So that's a big drop in air pressure. Okay. Something to see. We have learned something else. Thank you, Dallas. Thank you.